We have seen multiple fires spark over the last few weeks in southern Arizona. Now, one of the big questions is could even more fires start because of the heat and lack of rain? Our News 4 Two Sons Daniel McFarland reports. It's no secret that monsoon didn't show up this year, and we also saw two of the hottest months ever recorded here in southern Arizona in July and August. So with the lack of rain and also these higher temperatures, we've seen an uptick in fires across the area. Is this something we can expect throughout the next few months? The Encinos, Racetrack, Catalina and Ironwood are the four fires that have burned in southern Arizona in just the last few weeks. The fine fuels that we have, especially across southern Arizona through the Sonoran Desert, they dry out very quickly. Um, in April, we had warmer than normal temperatures, so that dried out the fuels faster. And that is what kicked off the fires this year. During summer, we had very little monsoon rains, and we're in the middle of the hottest October on record. I asked Ms. Davila, what is the biggest cause of these late season fires? Obviously, there's been no lightning, so we can't contribute any of these fires that have started recently to lightning. The firefighters fighting this say it's been a different experience than what they saw with the Bighorn fire. Here, even though they're, they're, you know, distributed throughout the Coronado National Forest, you know, they're more in areas where um, we have activity. So they're easier to be found and because we have these um, shorter durations. 2020 has just been awful for Arizona wildfires. So far this year, we've already had over 930,000 acres burn. If you compare that to the same time last year, we were just over 360,000. We've got you covered. Daniel McFarland, News 4 Tucson.